Hi, I'm uh, Matt Mahler with Movie Web, and you're one of the greatest actors of your generation. So mm, yeah, you're well, high, Matt. <laughs> you're high, and I love it. Uh, More people should be smoking the shit you're on. I love it. <laughs> you get me there. You get me there. <laughs> Thanks, man. How are you, man? Thank you for the kind words. Oh, no, no. I mean, this is uh, probably the best show I've seen since B for Severance. Uh, it really captures that oh, yeah. cinematic allure of a private eye with right. a mixture of kindness and a death wish. Uh, what does Sugar <laughs> like about the, the romantic image of noir detectives? And do you feel the same way? Yeah, I think just at a really pure, really simple level, it's just the 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 presence and the saturation of tone and the presentation of longing and that most human experience of loneliness and aloneness and also the belief in being a swell tide of good in a world filled with dark tsunamis that are just constantly coming one after the other. He loves the genre himself and he just loves old fashioned films just the just the beauty of them the music of them and again just that feeling that he gets and i think he leans into film as well whether he knows it or not because it kind of assuages his his aloneness it 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 makes him feel less outside of the human experience and more a part of it because he doesn't have any interpersonal relationships but it was the thing that i that i loved was you know you said a mix of kindness and a and a death wish it was that kind of contrast that attracted me to the to the piece initially because like, loving film noir whether it's uh the big sleep or maltese falcon or farewell my lovely whatever it may be the characters are always pretty hard-boiled and they're jaded you know they've seen enough of the ugliness of humanity that they're they're tired by it even though they're still working in it and their moral compass has shifted through the years and this guy felt very clearly like a decent kind man who had a belief still after all that he's seen in the fundamental worth of human decency and the possibilities of human decency and I'm not sure how much it is shaken a certain amount through the show but it still exists there at the end surprisingly enough and, and that was the thing that really had me kind of passionate about being part of it. Yeah I love that component and uh, with his profession you know he hates violence yeah. uh, uh, so much do you think that's because he's afraid he'll unleash something in himself or or where do you uh where not do you at think? the start i i think that you know there is a couple of scenes in the piece where the power that i believe certain people can feel when they exert violence on another human being where he actually accesses that and i think that more than anything else in his own personal experience really troubles him and gives him a perspective on himself and on, you know, fellow man that he never really had before. But at the beginning, I think he just, he just understands, I think he understands that violence at times is a, is a necessary evil because violence has already been unleashed in the human condition. And so it, it exists, it obviously exists all around us, but he, he also sees it as, as the ugliest expression um, that instantly deviates us from our true potential. And that was kind of a lovely philosophy or feeling to have as that character, you know, considering what he was aware of and how violent he was aware the human being can be. Yeah, it's a beautiful study of the human condition in so many ways from an outsider's perspective and yeah. in a sense. Uh, I, a reader's poll uh, for our site wants to know your favorite Batman actor or movie, including your own. My favorite Batman actor or movie, I mean, Heath, Heath takes it, you know, it's kind of, I mean, I don't mean to sit in the fence, but I've enjoyed so many of them. You know, I loved Jack as well as, as the Joker. And these characters are so well, these characters of lore are so well designed initially that they just, they withstand. It was like, I mean, when Christian Bale was asked a question I saw once about about the new Batman that was coming and about Robert playing Batman and Christian said something along the lines of, and I paraphrase that these characters, they survive and they invite multiple interpretations. Um, I love Danny, of course, as the Penguin. I grew up watching Tim Burton's, you know, but I, I go back with that show as well to Adam West and, and Burgess Meredith, you know, the first Penguin I ever saw, you know. Um, so many, man, who's my favorite? I don't know. I saw a spot for Michael Keaton because I was like, 
maybe 10 or 11 or 12 when I saw that and I was just obsessed with it, you know? Yeah, yeah, the Oscars moment was amazing with them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good too. thank you so much. Uh, yeah, they're kind of the Greek gods of our time in a way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and aspirational you. and questionable and, you know, all of it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Zeusian. Yeah. I really appreciate this brilliant series. Uh, I can't wait for people to see it. Thanks, Matt. All the best, man. Yeah.